decided not to rock out with coffee but instead I am doing a breakfast smoothie and let me tell you what's in this baby it look good don't it uh -huh. let me tell you what's up in here so I have one whole banana I have one date I have almond milk I have three tablespoons of oats and what else what else a dash of cinnamon and honey I think that's everything yeah, I think that's everything. So this is what I am going to be sipping uh, on my car ride this morning. So when you sit down, you're free to sure. break down the neck pillow. You can lie all the way back. And then, we, again, you do have your pillow. Or you can just place this on top of your shoe. Okay. So whichever like you have on. Right. So okay. this is just to keep the salt intact and it just keeps everything clean. We believe in hygiene and just the area has to be generally hygienic. Okay. So that we just ask you to place this on. And then you have a okay with it. And then you can slide push it forward towards me. Now it's unlocked, now you go ahead and lean back with it. When you get where you want to be, you can sit down. Okay. And then the headrest goes up and down, so you can get under the small your back. Okay. All right, ladies, enjoy. Thank you. No, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do not the typical. <laughs> so I'm gonna do not the typical. 
So today was actually my first time uh, experiencing salt therapy. And I dig it, y'all. I, I dig it. I am actually looking forward to going back. Um, it was so relaxing. And I really, truly needed that time to myself. 45 minutes of just quietness. You know what I'm saying? And I had to challenge myself to put my phone down. You know, of course I got, uh, you know, my Snapchats and Insta stories and whatnot. But I did have to challenge myself to put my phone down just to really, truly enjoy that moment. And even though I was still vlogging too, I still had to, you know, just put my phone down. And really truly enjoy the moment so yeah I'm glad y'all came along with me though for my very first time and you know I've said that I was gonna share more videos um, bringing you guys along or allowing you guys to join me for some of these first timers and instead of me doing a separate video for uh, today's first time experience I decided to go ahead and just add it into my uh, what I did on a Saturday vlog I mean it was only right so yeah oh I feel good yeah oh and let me tell y'all the salt therapy was not expensive at all okay it was $25 even no tax and to me it was well worth those $25 saying so yeah so y'all just stay tuned i got a lot going on today well i don't want to say a lot it is going to be a little busy but uh my sister has her third annual i am a queen bee symposium today uh, she has a non-profit organization uh called let's beehive uh which uh, is an acronym for let's be hiv educated so Today is going to be interesting. I'm looking forward to today. So I'll be bringing y'all along too. And kind of bringing you behind the scenes a little bit. Uh, during the I Am A Queen Bee Symposium. Today, uh, today's theme of this year's theme is Mask Off. Okay. So I'll yeah, just get, get ready for that. It's going to be good though. It's going to be good. Um, but it's here and there's a lot of work that we still can do 
And so please share this information with your family, with your friends. But today we're going to learn about risk factors that are associated with HIV to help you take this mask off. Sherry Shepard, that's my girl from The View. Sandra Lewis, I love her too. Um, Myesha Cheney from Preachers of LA. Janice Rockman from Relationship Rescue and Bravo's Thicker Than Water. Now, what her mission is now, she, you can sit down with her, but you're gonna hear about God. You're gonna sit with her and she gonna rub up on you and ask you, what's your life like? And she really means your life. She wants to help you walk in your God-given purpose, but do it with style. Be creative about it. As the founder and CEO of your beauty expert, Colleen is not just satisfied with being an ex expert in her field, but she's passionate about teaching others to become experts as well. She's talented, but she's also transparent. Before we bring you up, can you hit that video? And this is what the church got upset about, her authenticity, her transparency. Y'all put your hands together for Miss Colleen Otero. So now let's get you hooked up. About the event and the information. And I was like, we have to talk to Makai about it. And I said, you know what? In fact, he's sitting right there. I'm just going to go ahead and drop a couple condoms and the verbiage and stuff right there. And let's see how he responds and just, just record it. Because I just want to see his face, you know, and replay it. So um, that that's pretty much what it was. It, it wasn't like on my way home. I was yeah, okay. recording mm -hmm. or, you know, anything of that nature. So now, did it open up a conversation? Absolutely. Sorry. Sorry. It's all right. It's all right. Anyway, you're your parents. Sorry, young girl. Yes. But y'all know about that. Anything? Yeah. Me. Yeah. Things like that earlier. It's not easy. Even though we don't have 40 pills, it's not easy to remember to take that pill every day. That pill reminds you of what you did in your past. And if you don't deal with the mental health and the guilt and the shame that other people put on you, that you don't have to own, um, it makes it difficult to take that one little pill. Thank God I only have to take one. But her, my conversations with my daughter have been just frank and open. Like you, she knows I'm a hot mess. Today, standing here right now, I'm still a hot mess. And she calls me out on it. That's the kind of type of relationship we have. Because I want her to be able to own her voice. No matter, start with me first. Call your mama out. I am, I'm not perfect. That way when somebody steps wrong to her, she can call them out too. This the kind of black girl magic I'm talking about. So we had two sisters there.
Jasmine, y'all. You see me. Ja you Jasmine. See me. Ja Jasmine, where can the people find you on, on YouTube now? Jet Jasmine, the space, Instagram, Jet Jasmine, no space. No, no space. No space. <laughs> I'm so proud of this young lady. I'm so proud of her. Can we look at her? Hold on, no, I gotta take this. Can we look at her? Slim, baby. Oh, the best. <laughs> what? Did you take before or after pictures? I did. I really did. You did, did you know it? I, I, I look back at like old Facebook. Mm -hmm. You know, on this day, that's what I look back at. Wow, and you look Paris good. Notes. I'm about to be snatched next time. Some men they may take this ring out and use it for anal sex. What ring? This. You can take it out. Oh, it's a special piece or something. And then they do what with that? So I don't know. You can use the insert. Oh, this can go rectally. Hmm. They'll take the ring out and. What do you do with that? Then they use this this part for the rectum. Mm-hmm. So a lot of men too. They, there's rumors that this manufacturer really wanted to market it towards gaming, but they didn't know how to target it, so they ended up making it for female. But men, what do you do with the ring? You take you it toss out. Toss it. Just throw it off. Put it for anal. Men use female condoms for anal. But the ring, you just you don't you, you just, just throw, throw it out. out. How come they don't want to use a regular condom? Because the the man who's inserting. He's like a man who's going into a woman, mm -hmm. trying to who's insert. He feels restricted. Well, with with that, with the regular condom, mm -hmm. this is just a so totally different one. Mm -hmm. It's made out of polyurethane, so it's not latex. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's a different. So for like latex allergy, mm -hmm. things like that. Mm -hmm.